फ्रेंड्स लेट्स डिस्कस इंपॉर्टेंट एमसीक्यूज ऑफ यूनिट नंबर सिक्स ओके सो इट्स यूनिट नंबर सिक्स विच इज एक्चुअली जावा स्क्रिप्ट डॉम and uh, in the first uh, five five video i have discussed mcqs of unit number 1 2 3 4 and 5 go through the description box you will find the link of those videos all those questions are important guys again i am repeating jo humne question provide kiya tha midterm ke samay mein us question mein se 18 question means 18 questions out of 30 questions aaye the jo humne questions provide kiya tha and in the same pattern we worked to prepare these videos too so these videos are also very important go through each questions each questions are important on its own so without wasting any time let's proceed with the first question first question is what does dom stand for very fundamental question option is document object model option b data object model option c document oriented model last option is dynamic object model so the correct option is option number a full form of dom is document object model next question which programming language is commonly used to manipulate the dom is it java javascript python or c++ so dom uh, javascript is the correct option javascript is the programming language which is commonly used to manipulate the dom next question in the context of dom what is an element ऑप्शन ए अ जावा स्क्रिप्ट फंक्शन एन एस टी एम एल और एक्स एम एल टैग ऑप्शन सी अ सी एस एस स्टाइल एंड लास्ट ऑप्शन इज अ जे सॉन ऑब्जेक्ट करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज ऑप्शन नंबर बी एंड एस टी एम एल और एक्स एम एल टैग इज एन एलिमेंट इन द कंटेक्सट ऑफ डॉम नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वॉट इज द पर्पज ऑफ द डॉम इन वेब डेवलपमेंट ऑप्शन ए टू स्टाइल वेब पेज ऑप्शन बी टू स्ट्रक्चर वेब पेज option c to manipulate the content and the structure of web page dynamically and last option is to create server side logic correct option is option number c the purpose of dom in the web development is to manipulate the current sorry the content and the structure of web page dynamically next question which dom method is used to select an elements by its id very fundamental question is it get 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 element option b select element option c query selector and last option is get element by id correct option is option number d get element by id method is used to select an element by its id next question what does the query selector method do option e selects the first element that matches a specified css selector option b selects all elements that matches a specified css selector option c retrieves an element by its class name option d is retrieves an element by its tag name correct option is option number a the query selector selects the first element that matches a specified css selector moving to the next question which method is used to create an html element new html element option a create element option b create node method option c append child method last option is create html correct option is option number a create element method is used to create a new html element guys one request to all of you if you haven't subscribed the channel yet please do subscribe the channel 80% of you just watch the videos and leave the channel and you guys do not subscribe the channel please do subscribe the channel guys it's really motivate me to make such a great content next question what does the remove child method do in the dom option a removes an attribute from an element option b removes a child element from a parent element option c removes the text content of an element and last option is removes an event listener correct option is option number b remove a child elements from a parent elements next question which property is used to assess the root element of the document in the dom option a root element option b document element option c main element and last option is root document next option is option number the correct option is option b document element next question what does the title property of the document object represent option a the document title 
element option b the documents url option c the title of the browser window or tab and last option is the documents head element correct option is option c the title of the browser window or tab next question which method is used to write text directly into the html document in the tab option a inner html option b write text option c document write option d write html correct option is option number c document write method is used to write text directly onto the html document in the dom guys agar aapko thoda sa boring lag raha hai agar aapne nahi padha agar aapne padha hoga to aapko to maza aa raha hoga is series mein agar aapne nahi padha hai na to fir aap just rat lo is question ko bas yahi question aapki puche jane exam mein एंड पंद्रह क्वेश्चन होंगे एक यूनिट से लास्ट थ्री यूनिट से फिफ्टीन फिफ्टीन क्वेश्चन विल बी आस्ट फ्रॉम दिस यूनिट सो डू नॉट टेक दिस लाइटली फिफ्टीन क्वेश्चन विल बी आस्ट फ्रॉम दीज क्वेश्चन ओनली विच आई एम डिस्कसिंग विद यू नाउ सो जस्ट रिमेंबर दिस क्वेश्चन इफ यू अगर आपने नहीं पढ़ा है तो ठीक है नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वॉट इज द पर्पज ऑफ द क्रिएट एलिमेंट मेथड इन डॉम ऑप्शन ए टू क्रिएट अ न्यू एस टी एम एल एलिमेंट Option B to select an existing element. Option C to remove an element, and last option is to modify the style of an element. Correct option is option number A to create a new HTML element is the purpose of create element method in the DOM. Next question: How is the inner HTML property different from the inner text property in the RAW in the DOM? Correct option is option number A. actually inner html gets or sets the html content while inner text gets or sets the text content so if we talk about the html content then inner html will be there and if we talk about the uh, text content inner text will be there next question Which property is used to check if an element has an a specific CSS class in the DOM? Option A has class. Option B class name. Option C class list. Last option is has attribute. Correct option will be option number C. Class list is used to check if an element has a specific CSS class in the DOM. Guys, अगर आपको सारे unit का एक combined video चाहिए तो आप comment में yes जरूर लिख देना अगर आप comment में yes लिखोगे जितने अगर मुझे सौ या डेढ़ सौ अगर यस मिल जाते हैं कमेंट बॉक्स में तो मैं पक्का एक वीडियोस बनाऊंगा जिसमें सिंपल क्वेश्चंस लाइक इफ यू इफ वी विल डिस्कस सिंपल क्वेश्चंस पेपर फॉर द कोर्स कोड सी एस सी थ्री टू सिक्स कम्बाइंड ऑफ सिक्सटी एम सी क्यूज सो प्लीज डू राइट यस इन द कमेंट बॉक्स इफ यू वॉन्ट दैट सिंपल क्वेश्चन पेपर ऑफ सी एस टू सिक्स ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन हाउ कैन वी चेक इफ एन एलिमेंट इज हिडन इन द डॉम ऑप्शन ए यूजिंग द विजिबल प्रॉपर्टी ऑप्शन बी यूजिंग द हिडन प्रॉपर्टी ऑप्शन सी चेकिंग द डिस्प्ले प्रॉपर्टी एंड लास्ट ऑप्शन इज यूजिंग द इज विजिबल मैथड करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज ऑप्शन नंबर बी यूजिंग द हिडन प्रॉपर्टी वी कैन चेक इफ एन एलिमेंट इज हिडन इन द डॉम नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच प्रॉपर्टी इज यूज टू गेट और सेट इन द एस टी एम एल सेट द एस टी एम एल कॉन्टेंट ऑफ एन एलिमेंट इन द डॉम ऑप्शन ए एस टी एम एल कॉन्टेंट ऑप्शन बी इनर टेक्सट ऑप्शन सी इनर एस टी एम एल लास्ट ऑप्शन इज आउटर एस टी एम एल सो द करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज ऑप्शन नंबर सी इनर एस टी एम एल प्रॉपर्टी इज यूज फॉर दैट नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन हाउ कैन वी अपेंड एन एलिमेंट टू द एंड ऑफ एन अदर एलिमेंट इन द डॉ ऑप्शन ए यूजिंग द अपेंड चाइल्ड मेथड ऑप्शन बी सॉरी गाइज Option B using the prepend method. Option C using the insert before method. And last option is using the append method. So the correct option is option number D using the append method. We can append an element to the sorry guys to the end of another element in the DOM. Next question: What is the primary purpose of the DOM? Option A to interpret JavaScript code. Option B to render web page visually option c to provide a structured representation of web pages and last option is to manage user interaction with web page so the correct option is option c to provide a structured representation of web page is the primary purpose of dom
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच इवेंट इज ट्रिगर्ड वेन ए यूजर क्लिक्स ऑन एन एलिमेंट ऑप्शन इज क्लिक माउस डाउन माउस अप और की प्रेस सो द करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज ऑप्शन नंबर ए क्लिक इवेंट इज ट्रिगर्ड वेन ए यूजर क्लिक्स ऑन एन एलिमेंट नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन Which method is used to assign an event listener to an element? Option A, add event event listener. Option B, add event. Option C, on. Option D, listen. Correct option is option A, add event list. Add event listener is the method used for that. Which method is used to add a CSS class to an element? Option A, add class. Option B, add class name. Option C, class list dot add. and last option is style dot add correct option is option number a add class next question which property is used to assess or modify an elements css style option a style option b css option d option c class name and last option is class list so style property is used to as access or modify an elements css style next question How do you create a new paragraph content using JavaScript? Very important question and a frequent asked uh, questions. Uh, this questions was uh, previously asked in your exams also. Correct option is option number B. This is the syntax we can create a paragraph con element uh, using JavaScript. Okay. Next question: Which property correctly sets the value of an input element? Option A: Text content. Option B: Inner HTML. option c value and last option is text value so correct option is option number c value property correctly sets the value of an input element next question which method is used to get the title of the current document correct option is option number b document dot title method is used to get the title of the current document next question how can you make your web page more accessible using the dom so correct option is option number d because all three add area attribute to elements use clear and descriptive element tags and last option and c option is provide alternative tags for image all these three we can use to make our web page more accessible using the dom next question Which method is used to toggle a CSS class on an element in the DOM? Option A, toggle class. Option B, toggle style. Option C, switch class. Last option is switch style. Correct option is option A, toggle class method is used to toggle CSS class on an element in the DOM. Next question: How can you check if an element has a specific style property set in the DOM? Option A, using the has style method. Using the get style method. option c using the has computed style method and last option is using the style property correct option is option number b using the get style method next question which is the second last question of this series which css property is used to set the text color of an element using javascript correct option is option number b color property is used for that Guys, if you want a sample question paper of CSC three to six, please write yes in the comment box. If I get hundred to one fifty yes in the comment, then I will make that videos for sure. So last question is how can you set the CSS class of an element in the DOM using JavaScript? Correct option is option number C. We can use this syntax to set the CSS class of an element in the DOM using JavaScript. so this was the last question thank you so much for watching the videos if you guys have enjoyed watching the videos please do not forget to subscribe the channel and like the videos thank you so much